around with, like we see with the lost box players. But when you have lost impact, that's all you need. You get to knock out just about anything you want. And Chin Pao does not love that. Yeah, not at all. And honestly, you were saying this deck's what, tier three, you said? Maybe two? three and a half. I know no. a lot of people don't like the halves. Listen, <laughs> listen, Arceus transcends the tiers. Oh. It, it's the, the god of all Pokemon, right? Wow, like, that's, uh, that's, that's actual facts. And we see there, too, uh, Arceus <laughs> hanging out there <laughs> on the stage with us. Uh, Fabrizio, we'll, uh, we'll work on getting you one. You want a Baxcalibur, a Chimpal, uh, an Iron Bundle Gamer, perhaps? Even just a Greninja. You know, Radiant Greninja is so important for this deck, too. Yeah, well, well, we'll, we'll have to see. Obviously, another Chen Pao with the potential to make the top cut here. Fabrizio, an excellent player, already winning in Liverpool this year, looking to build on that resume, take down a great player. So this is not exactly where you want to see superior energy retrievals. Yeah, two of them in the prize cards for Fabrizio along with that Iron Bundle. Meanwhile, Jejul has Two Psychics, an Arceus V, Bidoof, and two Nest Ball. It's a lot of basic Pokemon. All right. Well, anyone who's followed the story of J-Jewel knows you never win on stream, <laughs> ever. <laughs> we've, we've tried. You've had plenty of opportunities, and it usually ends with a ridiculous opening hand with a Pokemon not named Arceus or an Arceus without an energy. But maybe we're ready to turn the tides. There's a fist bump. Let's get this thing underway. Round 15, win and in to top eight. And it's crazy. I think there's only one person that's technically guaranteed in the top eight, and that's Reagan for this tournament so far. Looks like Fabrizio's going to start things off going first. Ooh. Has that Buddy Buddy Pop in hand. There's like eight cards in hand. That's a, oh, that's a lot that, of that's mulligans. A, that's a couple mulligans there. That helps out with uh, definitely locking in how great this hand could be. Nest Ball to start, Buddy Buddy Pop in, in the hand too. That's quite a board to work with got a quick look at jay's hand and there's an ultra ball there's an energy that, that's step one and two for our case. that is so much more than what we've had in the past <laughs> <laughs> now fabrizio does start that radiant greninja it is also a great attacker in a deck like champau backscalibur granted against the deck like jay's there's not very many low hp pokemon that bidoof has that ability to stop bench damage, but starting the squav it could prove detrimental. Yeah, it's a bit of a liability. It's not your favorite Pokemon to, to start. And Meanwhile, on Fabrizio's side, you love to see that. You love to see that energy in the opening hand, too. It leads to the Shivery Chill to get a couple of those energies out of the deck and just have all those resources in hand. You think so often it's, it's difficult for the Champau players going first, but if you draw like you already played an Irida, I think you're doing pretty well here on the opening. Yeah, who needs supporters? Uh, Fabrizio just has everything in hand, waiting to use that Buddy Buddy Poffin until you get the concealed cards off. Just try to draw as much basic Pokemon as you can. And then having a supporter for the next turn as well in hand in that Irida wants to try to find something, or Iona wants to try to find something like the Irida. Is it intimidating to see your opponent grab all of the counters potentially signifying <laughs> that they're going to be using a lot of abilities. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's when you're like, oh boy, this turn's not even close to over, is it? That's a little better than attach pass to Arceus. Mm -hmm. Eyeing down two Frigibacks off this Buddy Buddy Poffin, but ooh, Fabrizio's eyeing down two uh, Bidoof as well. Is there another one in hand? Buddy 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 Poffin. That's four buddies. <laughs> wow. My MySpace top eight was up pretty big. I thought that was pretty good. You had, you had more than I tried. Friends. I had a lot of bot friends. Oh, okay. It's a problem nowadays, too, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a ridiculous board. How do you do this as Chen Pao? Well, it definitely is probably going to lead to something pretty nice here with that opener. I mean, you can evolve all these Pokemon next turn with the, uh, the supporter, the ear to get things rolling. Jay's just... Yeah. Gonna try to play an item to get rolling. Drew the second B barrel. I uh, was not greeted well from Jay here. Ugh. And having to discard the Ultra Ball in hand along with the first one means there's no other way to search for Pokemon, it seems like. This is often an issue that we see with Arceus. Is it is slow. Very slow. That opening turn. You're just thinking about survival. It's Arceus energy, 
please don't be active. Give me a couple of other Pokemon, too. There, there has to be a supporter. Thankfully, it's that Iono. Uh, that's a pretty good one. Going to put a ear to Baxcalibur to the bottom of the deck for Fabrizio. And allow Jay to draw six new cards. Hopefully finding a way to get something like a Bidoof in play. Maybe even another Arceus. And oh, no. <laughs> Looks like not much of anything going on. Ooh. Just the pass of the turn is going to be a big turn for Fabrizio if he has the right cards. Uh, Ultra Ball, uh, B Barrel is going to be a good start. Earthen Vessel as well. Oof. Yeah, there's definitely some action, but this is one you have to sequence fairly well as we don't see the Irida just yet, but with the B Barrel, there's some playing down the hand. There's Earthen Vessel to play down some more cards. You could draw up with the Beaver All, but potentially hold on to an energy to draw with the Radiant Greninja. Well, it's all going to start with a shuffle here. Wanting to get that Irida that's on the bottom of the deck back into the mix before you concealed cards. Yeah. And Ultra Ball is going to find the second B-Barrel. There's going to be a lot. I, I think you were right in saying all those coins going to be used for these abilities because that's going to happen this turn. Fabrizio is flexing. This is, this is a phenomenal open here. And it's all about sequencing as cleanly as possible to finding Irida. Irida unlocks a, a world of pain for Jay. Uh, if this turn ends with Prime Catcher, oh, don't see even. ya. <laughs> that would be so much to try to get together. But with the amount of draw that Fabricio has, if luck is on his side, a simple Irida could do it. Honestly, is, is Irida even the best card? Even a, like a Cypher's Maniac could be even cleaner at this point. True. If you find one of the pieces, then you can go for either the Bax, Candy, or Catcher, whichever one unlocks the combination. We're going to see Attach for the turn onto the active Champau. Yeah. Just to get that card out of the hand, Industrious Incisors finds the Ooh. Prime Catcher. Finds the energy as well. Another Frigibax is not going to be useful, but you can discard it to that earthen vessel. You have enough energy. Just where is that rare candy Baxcalibur? Yeah, now, now you try to determine, do you want to play down some more of these cards? Or is Radiant Greninja going to be the, the piece that unlocks this? Finding Ultra Ball or obviously the supporter. Wow. The Irida. Irida and Superior Energy Retrieval found off the top. Is this it? You have that's, that Earth Invest. We have Shivery Chill. We're, we're done. Whoa, wow. <laughs> we're, we're going to a game two. <laughs> oh, what my. What a turn from Fabricio here. Yeah, there's no coming back from this. Shivery Chill, get those energies. Irida lines up perfectly for Rare Candy Baxcalibur. We already see the Prime Catcher at hand. That's a simple retreat, superior energy retrieval. Kaboom! on to the Arceus V. And when you're left with Scuvit in a dream, your dreams are nightmares. <laughs> Fabrizio did this without even using the second Industrious Incisors. Still has more draw to go. But look at that. That Shivery Chill, two energy to the hand. Earthen Vessel discards that. Frigibax, two more energy to the hand. And that's already enough to take a knockout on that Arceus and get the retreat off that Greninja. I mean, this just speaks to how cleanly Fabrizio is able to play this. There's a second Bibarel that's able to be played, and he's going to make sure to play down all of these cards perfectly, use the Prime Catcher, move all these resources, play down all the energies, and the second before I attack, might as well look at a couple more cards with Industrious Incisors, put myself in an even more winning position. Here comes the terrifying card. Jay oh, Cho no. already knows the bad news. And we're, we're going to a game two. What a turn or two from Fabrizio there. Able to go from basically just basics in play all the way to that prime catcher knockout, forcing the concession from Jay. Why do you want to be on stream? <laughs> <laughs> Every time it is uncanny how unfortunate this is for Jay. And you just look <laughs> at his face, he knows. I mean, you, you try so hard all tournament and sometimes you're just dealt that hand. But I mean, it wasn't even about about Jay's hand. What do you do against Yeah, the, the buddy, 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 buddy <laughs> popping into Ultra Ball, draw some cards, knock out with Prime Catcher. You can't put a better hand in your lap. That was ridiculous. <laughs>
when he started the Greninja. That was, everything works perfectly there. And then uh, both players are just smiling in awe of what happened. But that was a five minute opening game here for the win and in in Orlando. It all started with that first Industrious Incisors drawing into that Prime Catcher. That was the one big piece needed for the knockout on that Arceus V. And then finding that Irida from the concealed cards already having enough energy with that earthen vessel and the shivery chill and jeez oh, he was still drawing three cards after this <laughs> there play was, like there was still a whole <laughs> beaver ready to go uh, what is it like to don the green shirt probably probably a little better than what jay's feeling right yep. now yep well that's that's why we made it two out of three right we've got great opportunity for both of these players Fabrizio eyeing down one more win to lock up contention here in the top eight, most likely. J. Jewel, 34 points, so winning in guarantees. Yeah, that's always the thing, too. If Fabrizio does win this, still needs to battle one last opponent. Win percentage. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's the. Nobody knows how to play against that one either. It's terrifying. Taking a look at our players' opening hands. Looks like a mulligan from Fabricio. And a uh, hopeful Arceus V start for Jay. I think Arceus moved up from the, the benches to the table, trying to get more of that luck. I want some luck. Oh, this hand is looking a little better here. and got a, got a quick peek at it. Hey, you get an extra card. It's always going to be better. And going first in this matchup seems pretty also good. Better. Yeah. <laughs> an opportunity <laughs> to play down an Arceus and know that they can't attack you. There is no one energy attack that removes this Pokemon from play. And that's uh, that's all you need if, if you're Jay. You get to try to collect. Oh, that hand Ooh. was good. <laughs> there, was the, the, there was the quadruple poffin going again. The the buddy to the fourth power. Yeah, ultimate friendship poffin. <laughs> it's basically just like you, you can let it go. It's fine. You don't. It, it, you, there doesn't always have to be a joke. Well, no, I was gonna say it's like a Pokemon collector or something like that. But okay, I mean, yeah, pretty much. It's uh, it's, it's more along the lines of like a uh, whole on mentor, okay. with the yeah. with the H the HP being a requirement. Uh, all right, we've got Pokemon. We're ready to play. Some additional cards. Welcome to sight for Jay, and not gonna hide that fact from Fabrizio with an excellent head nod. These are not the worst prize cards for either player. We can work with these. Yeah, not bad. And uh, speaking of not bad, Arceus V double turbo energy. That's where uh, Arceus players like to live. That's it. Yep. We, we, we laugh about what a, what a good start and a bad start look like. They're very similar. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do much, but this is all you need to do to unlock the potential of Arceus V star and double turbo hide on the bench. Chill works out fairly well. Fabrizio has the nest ball. He's going to be able to find that Radiant Greninja. Concealed cards. Hopefully find some more basic Pokemon. Did start the Frigibax. Just one retreat. Yep. Thankfully, this is the little guy. and uh, he, he doesn't worry too much about the retreat. 70 hit points has been an issue uh, in the past. We've seen a lot of players focused on trying to work around that double Sableye lost mind. And... Uh, but he's, a, he's just a little chunkier. You don't, you don't ever want to see him in the active unless you have to collect. Yeah, and when you have to collect, uh, you know it's bad. Radiant Greninja is going to be found here. It'll be interesting to see if Fabrizio has the two energy usually needed for like retreating the fridge backs into like a Chem Pow, get that Shivery Chill. Well, I guess you have the energy with that. <laughs> All right, concealed cards. Are they any better? It's Speedoof. Not the worst. There also is the Pokestop to go along with this, but the issue I'm, is... I'm always scared with Pokestop and well, Excalibur. We, we also just haven't seen any 
supporter to go along with this, which makes you think the second you spin the wheel, they're all going away. <laughs> I think there's an uh, Iono at the tail end of the hands. Or no, is, that's or a, is superior a superior energy. Energy. Yeah, OK, well, this makes it a little tricky then. Oh, no. Pokey stop. Discard the top three cards. Don't show Zerida. All right. All right. That's that's fine. It's not bad. Although, you're still going to probably have to get rid of this entire Yeah, hand. unless you find Propagate Execute, this is still tricky. You know, oh, could you imagine? You're, you're running out of resources here, throwing away all these cards with the discard two effect of Ultra Ball. But, I mean, the first step is trying to get a second Frigibax just because that Arceus is ready to go with just a V-Star. Yeah, safety first. Make sure that you always have an opportunity for Baxcalibur. It's the only way that this deck finds success. Have to be able to accelerate those energies onto the Chimpao, Radiant Greninja, whatever it may be at this point, but you need to have the energy acceleration to unlock. Strap on the knee pads and a helmet. Get things going. Safety. Oh, I was like, are you going to go skateboarding? What, what yeah. you, no, one, no one plays Skaters Park. That was an absolute meme of a card in this deck to start. <laughs> it was very funny to see, though. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right, second Frigibax is on the bench. Do we see the last Ultra Ball? Yes, getting rid of the Superior Energy Are we just retrieval. going doof? Well, All right. Go doof. You I got, respect it. You got B-Barrel in hand. It looks like... I, I I think if Jay was offered a hundred bucks to guess that card in the hand, he'd be able to identify it fairly easily. It is so obvious when your opponent doesn't play uh, a, a, a supporter for the turn that that has to be the, the barrel if they're going to even stay in this game. And with just the pass of the turn, it's Jay's turn now. Gets that B barrel in play. Be able to industrious incisors. I mean, this is a great place to be. You basically fed a Fridgy to start things off. Just need to move the Bidoof. It should be very easy to do with uh, the fact that you already have access to the Arceus V Star Starbirth. If you can do that without the Starbirth and use the, the Bibarel to draw into those resources. That is a, a great win, and uh, I think we've safely identified Iona was to play this turn. Yeah. <laughs> there is that Arceus V-Star being evolved, and now Jay is eyeing down those cards for this Star Birth. But we'll wait. What you actually might need. Yep. We've got friends in low places <laughs> trying to get the job done for us. If, if you do find those switching outs, which... Typically see just that one switch in the deck, but uh, there also is the jet energy, which you could potentially find. We already got a maximum belt. A lot of energy is energy. found off the top. That's not really what you're looking for here in this position, especially with that professor's research in hand. Well, this is not your favorite star birth, but it works. You hop into the deck. You can save that switch resource if you want, or you can uh, by going for the jet energy, or you could Hang on to that for a later date. All right, after this, depending on what Jay grabbed from the Star Birth, is it optimal to Pokestop to try to find something like a Nest Ball to get another Arceus or Giratina? Well, you, you start to wonder what you eventually will be cleaning up the game with. When the Chimpals are in play, Arceus does not line up well against that hit point uh, mark, so you will need to find Giratina. And Jay says, you know what? I thought about Iono. Iono would make sense if you were able to draw into some good resources, but maybe this is an opportunity to find a Pokemon to, to load up on. And we've seen some players just go for the Giratina itself. Sometimes you go for the Nest Ball to thin that card out, if that's not a resource you want to find later on. It's looking like Jet Energy Giratina V is going to be the two cards found for J. That Jet Energy will allow that Arceus V-Star to get into the active spot. And that Giratina being something you can charge up with that Trinity Nova. Four basic energy and a research, I believe, is the hands now. Yeah. Is that good? No. Oh. <laughs> well, who cares? <laughs> this board state's great. That's, that's if, very if only, if only you could put all these energies 
back into the deck with a card like I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. <laughs> and then you were able to play them back onto your Pokemon. Instead, you don't do that because you give your opponent a brand new hand. They probably candy backs and go crazy. It, it makes me think because there was just the professor's research and energy in Jay's hand. Do you just research and not incisors because you're afraid of discarding something like those? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a huge punish to draw into three basic energies. Will you ever draw into three basic energies? If you're on stream, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and speaking of drawing pretty well on the other end now, Fabrizio sees double here at a... I was like, I did not see three energies in Fabrizio's hand. No. <laughs> Just drawing cards and being punished. This is the rewards end. Yeah, had an Ultra Ball top decked and off this Industrious Incisors. Could even get another B barrel and still have Irida Rare Candy left over. Gonna start with the concealed cards. Another Irida. All oh, right. All right, this, this might be the time for Jay to try to disrupt the hand on the next turn. But for right now, Fabrizio's trying to pull together this equation to get back Scalver in play and a decent attack off. Pokestop discards the fourth Irida and back Scalver, but does find a nest ball for something like that Chen Pao. Yeah, it's not the cost that you want to pay. Losing a back Scalver can be a big issue, especially if finding Super Rod down the line ends up being difficult. You're already down a Frigibax as well. It has to be Candy Back Scalibur this turn in order to put some form of pressure on, but are the resources all there to take a knockout on this active Pokemon? You'd think that would be that would have to be the answer for Burizio in order to stay relevant in a game like this. Well, you need four energy. No. Five? Five. Five. Big maths. Quick maths. And I know Fabrizio has two in hand. Uh, maybe just the one after discarding it with that. Or no, it's discarded the top card. Uh, the energy from the Pokestop. Yeah, just the one in hand. So it's going to have to rely on Shivery Chill. Is there... Well, I guess you could search for a superior energy retrieval. Yeah, I think the rare candy was already a piece. Yeah. Now you can combine that with the superior. You have the energy for retreats. Four energy to attack. So with this, that doesn't he would add need up. one more energy. You have the but retreat. But then you have Shivery Chill. Oh, yeah. There is that rare candy back Scalibur. Just the one in play, though, for Fabrizio here. Yeah, I think... Understanding the assignment, a lot of those other cards are important. You can lose the water energy, grab four cards, then re just retreat with one of those energies. Shivery Chill back up to the five requirement and take the big knockout here. Important to note is the maximum belt is on the active. Won't be used with Arceus to try to take a one-hit knockout on something like the Chimpao. You're going to have to be forced to use that Lost Impact from Giratina. A lot of resources to try to work through, but Fabrizio does discard that water in hand to grab the four from the discard, hoping the remaining waters are in the deck with the Shivery Chill, and you'd have to hope. Well, I'm, I'm hoping there's no hope. We, yeah. we, we looked through with Irida about 30 seconds ago. It's all lining up here. Hailblade, big KO onto the Arceus V-Star. Jay now left with just those two energies on the Giratina V. And a hand that just didn't look very clean. And sure, finding the Giratina V-Star would lead to a knockout here, but then you discard those energies, and then how do you come back from a spot like this? You're really banking on using Trinity Nova one, at least once to full effect for three energies or twice to just continue to build other threats. Arceus V drawn for the turn. That's not really going to provide too much. Maybe a secondary attacker later on, but your energies are so taxed right now. There's the Psychic on the active and Ooh, bringing up the shred. boss. That and lines that up very well. well. Yeah, this is a great way to play through this hand for Jay. 
big issue last turn was all of the resources could not be used alongside the benching of a Frigibax with the boss's orders. That is correctly identified. Remove this threat. And maybe you can just continue to target down your opponent while they try to set up another Vexcalibur. But both are in the discard pile now after the shred. It's going to force Ira to, to try to find something like a Super Odd to take a turn off. But Jay finds an Ultra Ball off a of Pokestop, discards two other cards, grabs the second B Barrel, so we'll be able to draw through this hand now. This is a spot that Jay really enjoys because you play four boss's orders. You have double B Barrel. Being able to draw through, if you don't find every <laughs> single basic energy, <laughs> likely leads to cards that can be played, cards that lead to boss's orders, chain those all together, and just continually knock out Frigibax. Guess what? He grabbed the uh, energy from the prize cards, That's too. That's not real. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Fabrizio brings up the Radiant Greninja, hoping it could just take a hit for a turn. Don't really need it right now anymore. What he really needs is a Super Rod. He at least has some draw power with these Industrious Incisors to try to accomplish just that. Irida in hand. I mean, every Pokemon resource that you want is in the discard pile. Pokestop to start sounds good. <laughs> there's, there's not really a punish yeah. left at this point. You're probably just going to find cards that lead to finding Pokemon, and then Irida could be the search with a Super Rod. Or, excuse, yeah, a Super Rod with the Irida, which would lead to just eventually drawing back into those Pokemon, hopefully with the Beaver Roll. Well, Fabrizio did draw into a Nest Ball, so after a quick Irida for that last Frigibax and Super Rod. You can Super Rod back the Bax Calibers and a Frigibax and then get a second Frigibax in play and that will prevent any boss's order shenanigans from Jay even though look at that hand. There's no access to that. Yep, but you have to play as though it is. <laughs> and rightfully so. Fabrizio will do just that. I think with this a 202 line of Backscalbler will be available for the rest of the game. And, all right, just, just you know what? I, I'll probably only get one more Bax out of this. Yeah. Putting back the energies just so you can potentially search for it, maybe even grab it and concealed cards if it sticks around. But there is the first of the two fridge backs needed for Fabrizio this turn. Still plenty of Super Rod left. There's three in the list, so finding that back Scalbert later on after establishing the Fridges should be just fine. First Industrious Incisors for one. I think maybe Fabricio's debating if Prime Catcher could be worth it to maybe buy a turn. Yeah. You wonder where the edge is at this point for, for Jay. Prize cards are the most important thing. I don't think it matters which Pokemon you remove from play. Yeah. Chen Pao's the only one that really leads to the prize race getting out of hand, but Jay can't remove that Pokemon. Uh, switching over to Lost Impact before having an additional attacker just does not work here. It is just impossible for Jay to actually get this hand under five. Drew an Arceus V for the turn, <laughs> yeah. can it's attach, and then attack for knockout. Oh, uh, this is theme deck mode, one of our favorite modes. Is but it? It's. I mean, it happens a lot. Ooh. Oh, uh-oh. Uh See you guys. It worked the first time, not this time. I don't even know I'm what would be considered again. working at this point. What could you have found? <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> Jay's like, I'm not using I, that again. I have five cards in hand. I can't use them. I have five cards in hand, and I can't use the, the beaver roll. Well, with all the energies lined up, you, you do just continue to take the, the prize cards that are being handed to you at this point. But this is a turning point for Fabrizio. With two V knockouts, we would see them in the top eight. There's plenty of cards. Thank you. That could lead to the Bexcalibur this turn, Irida being the one that gets the ball rolling. Well, this equals Rare Candy back Scalibur, and that is the first thing that Fabricio needs to get a big knockout. 
I believe there's already a superior energy retrieval in hand. Yep. Jeremy, I don't I don't know how you beat this. Yeah. What a what a great board. Both players, double B roll, should be able to find all the resources. There's just one slight problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are clogged up on Jay's side. Not much to do there. And Shivery Chill adds an additional energy now. Clearly the energies for the knockout on Hailblade will be available. There is that rare candy in the back Scalibur. Now Farizio just deciding what to discard. I think the best part about this turn is you're going to be taking a knockout on Giratina V, which is the one way Jay can actually take a big knockout on Chien Pao. Uh, and if you're attacking with Arceus V-Star uh, more than the few times needed, you're not going to be sticking around long. Right. It's, it's Fabrizio's job at this point to thin down, make sure that the deck is nothing but great cards at this point, super rods, rare candies, iridas. These two cards do not correlate to that. Earthen Vessel throwing away the buddy buddy. That means two more cards can be added to the hand. You already have the backup Chen Pao if something ridiculous happens. Energy in play, and you're just thinking, if Baxcalibur's knocked out, do I have an answer? I'm getting closer. It doesn't matter if you target down one of these Bieber rolls. I'm going to be just fine with the second one. And I've got two attackers ready to go to find the last two prizes. Let's go down to two prize cards. See if we can get one step closer to maybe getting into the top eight. All right, Jay looks at the top card. It's Arceus V-Star, so we're going to have an attack this turn. But again, it's an attack that you're not able to take a big knockout to respond to Fabrizio's side of things. It would have been great to find a boss's orders, and there it is, a boss's orders. Brings up the back Scalibur. This is going to shut down the Super Cold again from Fabrizio, and that might just be what Jay needed. This is all you can ask for at this point. Remove this threat. And hopefully Fabrizio was not able to find the resources to get the job done. We see the super rod in hand. Oh, wow. We see the rare candy in hand. Is there another Irida? Uh, I think all of them have been used. Going to have to rely on just drawing into it. Jay wants the same information. He's going to count the super rod. Likely along with the Irida, I think at least three are in the discard pile. So I'm pretty sure Fabrizio played three, discarded one off Pokestop. He might be right there. All right, it all comes down to how the hand can play out from this point. Even an Ultra Ball would do it. There is Nest Ball. Jay got another energy from the prize guards. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Brutal. There is the super rod. Step one. And do you take the safe route, put a fridge back in and search it out, or do you go aggressive and grab Radiant Greninja to end it all this turn? We're going for it. One Fridgey in a dream. If this does not work out, that is a boss, basically game ceiling play for Jay. Was there a route to maybe using Pokestop first? There's, out some of those there's some resources in there that you could potentially find. The issue guess, is yeah. you want your hand to be smaller so that these Bieberall can do their job. They're so close to potentially finding a way to draw into that last resource, that last Baxcalibur, whatever it may be. Well, there is the sheer cold for the last energy in the deck. Fabrizio has access to concealed cards, and if he thins the hand down enough, the Industrious Incisors, but I think... It's not really going to be too possible. The only card that discards cards is Superior Energy Retrieval. Oh. Two cards. Buddy, buddy. And the Iono. Iono. I don't know if that's going to do it. That may be the last rare well, candy. Hang on. Oh, you can Iono get your hand down. Yeah. Then you can industrious Incisors. You that can't might... buddy, buddy now because the bench is full. It's trying to... Find out if there's a way to play this hand down. You could draw one. I don't like that. I think it's Iono. But do you potentially want to just play the Prime Catcher first, target the Arceus V, 
then you're required to have less energies to take the knockout. See, my thing with the Pokestop is could have maybe thinned out cards like that Buddy Buddy Poffin and play it before filling the bench with that Radiant Greninja. But here is a Super Odd, another Backscalibur, another energy back into the deck. Parisio can lost vacuum. Prime catcher. You could thin out the energy yet again if you want. And this is where the sequencing comes down. You need to play perfectly with a deck like Chan Pao. What does, what does this water energy do for you here? Superior energy retrievals ha has to be the way to close out the game. You already have the one energy on in play. You'll have access to dealing 300 damage, so I feel like that's a card you just don't want to see at any point. We see the Pokestop played back down, but wasn't used to begin, and this is going to be thin to win, hopefully finding the resource here. You can shivery chill if you want to and attach for the turn. It's water energy wow. drawn. And this is why I don't like seeing that card here. And has he already attached for the turn with the Chien Pao or no? Couldn't tell you. I think I think we already had this energy in play last turn. Okay. I mean, we can look at the top there. Yeah, production team. See, yep. no go. Attachment for the turn. Last incisors for two. Do it we find back Scalper superior back energy superior. retrieval? Cypher meaning at back Scalper. Rare candy back Scalper. Oh, we have Cypher Pocus stop. Can we get there? I think we're there oh, then. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this works out. <laughs> Woo! Poke is stop, <laughs> discarding the top superior energy retrieval, and that will allow Fabrizio to find the energies needed to take the knockout and go to 36 match points, hoping to make it into the top eight here in Orlando. There's going to be a VOD review somewhere. <laughs> There's so much going on with the sequencing of that final turn, but it worked out. Fabrizio <laughs> finds the lines, is able to bring out that final Baxcalibur, take a big knockout there to remove Arceus, and the hopes of Jay. Another opportunity on the stream, but I'm sure we'll see him even more. You, you gotta embrace the fact that And this Chen Pao deck, just getting those B barrels in play as quick as possible. You need as much draw, finds that prime catcher super early in this sequence, and then has enough energies due to that superior energy retrieval to be able to prime catcher, retreat, take the knockout on the lone Arceus V. Jay scoops it up. Game two looking a little bit better and had that turn two Arceus V star, but Fabrizio responded with a big knockout with Chen Pao EX. But then the tides started to turn. Jay got that boss's orders, brought up the lone back Excalibur, used Shred, take the knockout. It's able to just Shred again, but that's because the hand is full of energies, Kyle. <laughs> and Fabrizio has to pull together another back Excalibur, is able to do it, take the knockout. And then this led to Jay hoping to find stuff off the top of his deck, found the Arceus V-Star, found the boss's orders with the industrial incisors for one, but then Fabrizio went through the entire deck, Cypher Maniacs, to be able to put that superior energy retrieval on top of the deck, uses the Pokestop, finds it, and gets enough energies to take the win and have to hope for this top eight. Yeah, that was that was something else there. A great way to close out the Swiss rounds here in Orlando. 36 points. We're, we're terrified. That is, yeah. There's a lot of players out there still fighting for that mark or just a little bit more. We got a little bit of information. We do have a Gardevoir player that will be making it into the top eight. So excited to see what that deck even looks like at this <laughs> point. It's taken on a lot of different new faces <laughs> since uh, since the rotation. And the good thing about Fabrizio, he's, he's no stranger to winning. Just one Liverpool 
uh, in this season already and is looking to take down another large tournament. Again, it seems like 36 is going to be on the outside, kind of trying to look in. Just a uh, couple maybe, of just them, Just a maybe. couple, but yeah. that's still more than it should be. <laughs> yeah, I think the potential we had was there were 10 players that were still in contention, and the way that would, uh, after we see um, potentially players winning, so then uh, if there are those natural ties, if other players decide to uh, ID at the 36-point mark instead of playing it out, and it gets uh, a little bit hazy. We'll, we'll see how it all plays out, but there's potential, I believe, for two 36 players to miss. We'll see if that how that works, but, I mean, 36 is a ridiculous mark to get to. If you win 12, the equivalent of 12 games here out of 15, you should be in top eight. It seems like Brandon Dean, the person who was 33 match points playing down, ended up winning their match. Oh, that just adds so even more then, right? Now that's basically guaranteeing two 36s are going to whiff. Uh, going down the list, uh, Luke Morsa took down Case in the Charizard versus Jen Pao. We got, a, we got a Celios sighting? Yeah. Okay. Uh, first table took an ID. So Reagan at 37 match points guaranteed in Jake. You are with Ancient Box, 36 points. Look at you. Yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if that's able to, to hang on. Table two, Hunter versus Cyrus. They both ID'd. So Lost Zone, a Groudon at 36, along with a Roaring Moon, the Duns and Dragons trying to make top eight at 36. Oh, there's so many good ones to look out for. Joshua Frank, like you said, the one Gardevoir player, 37 match points already guaranteed Locked. in. And we're still waiting on basically the last two.